Tradiciones de la Papa Frita. Hello and welcome to my guide. In this guide I will show you the best, efficient and fastest way to get the glorious leg plates. Now, the glorious leg plates can drop from three different places. First place you can go is in Frost Whisper Gorge, south of Winter Springs. The mobs that drop the glorious leg plates are these pairs. But the drop rate is very, very low. How low you may ask? Well, let's just say that you can be here farming for months and not get a single drop. Also, the respawn time for these mobs are 10 minutes. So I don't recommend farming here. Second location. The second location is Alcas Island, located at northeast of Dust Wallow Marsh. But the only mob that dropped the glorious leg plates are the sirens, sorcerers, warriors, and hydras. Also, the respawn time for these mobs are again 10 minutes, and the drop rate is very low as well. Third location. The third and final location is on an instance, the ruins of Ankirai. It's in Norway from Manila Wow, located at southwest of Silides. This raid is one of the best places for farming the glorious leg plates. So in this video I will be showing you how to farm the glorious leg plates efficiently and fast. Now, for this guy I will be using two different characters, a monk and a priest. Why a monk and a priest? Because of the abilities they possess. A monk can use crackling gate lightning. And the priest can use mind flight. Both abilities are very important for this guy. And also the mobility that the classes possess. Okay, let's begin. First thing you gotta do, set both of your characters' hearthstones at the innkeeper in Senadin Hold. Be careful. Next, fly to the ruins of Ankirai. Inside, I will show you with detail what to do. This is the ruins of Ankirai, 10 man. Let's go. We don't need to kill any of the gladiators, wasps, or any of the guards flying around. They do not drop the glorious leg, so we can skip them. Make sure that you don't kill any of the bosses in this place. That way you can reset the instance and do it again. Now, this is the place with the glorious leg drops. Okay, now grab these mobs. And the next one. And keep on running with your mount.
make sure to grab as many aggressive mobs as you can. Once you get enough of them, AoE them down and kill them. These mobs never drop the glorious legs for me, but they can drop the glorious head and glorious chest. So loot them for gold or any greens that they drop. Let's go. You will pull the boss, but don't worry about it. As long as you don't kill it, you can reset the instance. Now, this is what we're here for, the silicate feeders. They are the ones that drop the glorious leg points. So, I'm using Crackling Gate Lightning to grab the mobs. Not to kill them. Just to touch them and pull them. There are a total of 41 silicate feeders, so make sure to grab all of them and don't miss a single one. Once you grab all of them, lead them to this spot. Now AOE them down and kill them. No drop this time. So what do you do? You try again. And again, and again, until farming the glorious leg plates will take a few runs and lots of patience. And if you think this was my first and only lucky drop, you're wrong, because this is my fourth glorious leg drop. I got three more full glorious sets with my DK. My warrior. And my paladin. I also got a full set of Vanguard with a warrior and a full set of Lofty with my Paladin. All of these sets can drop from the Silicate Feeders. Also, you can get all of these goodies to sell. Once you're done farming, use your hearthstone to get out, and then repeat with your other character. The key for this raid is not to kill a single boss, that way you can reset the instance and do it over and over again. Bye. Good luck with your farming and enjoy yourself, <laughs> because I know I will. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>